Hey guys, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Uh, earlier we had looked at a bed that we were heating up to accommodate our tomatoes and kind of get ahead of everything as far as the last frost goes. Well, uh, we've already come in and we've taken off the cover, the clear plastic cover. We've laid down this red mulch, pinned it down, and now we're in the process of planting tomatoes, which is great. This is, this is the end game, so to speak. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Um, we'll start with this one. This is a, uh, we grew it from seed. It's called a, a Dad Sunset. It's an orange, yellowy tomato. We had it last year and it was so delicious. It really is a, you know, low acid, uh, big tomato, fits really nicely on a sandwich. Ooh, I better slow down here. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get hungry. Um, but we ordered this from, uh, Baker's Creek and we potted it's been potted up once and I just wanted to show you guys we set it in kind of deep and now all these lovely roots and what we're going to do we have this looks like a little surgical procedure down here where we have the these staples kind of holding back I took a um, utility blade here and made slices these are being planted every 18 inches, by the way. So we've pre -measured. And in case people didn't see the other video, this red mulch is has like these little micro holes in it for water and such to get through, but to keep the mulch itself warm. Right, and we want to plant these deep because what happens with these tomatoes is that the, um, it's kind of a dark hole down in there. Um, what happens to the tomatoes, they send roots out through their, their um, stem so you put them in deeper and deeper and just using a little extra here pouring in around it yep and it'll send roots out into the soil that's covering the stem i took off i clipped off the lower leaves so now we'll bring back our little tabs yeah, here and here. And one thing that's really important is to make sure that we put in our little identifier label so we know what it is. I don't know how many times I, I should put out labels that say, I don't remember planning this one. <laughs> but um, now we're, we're gonna water it in real good. And we mentioned in the earlier video talking about the red mulch, we'll probably side dress this with um, chips, just bark chips from, from like where the tree guys, tree services have chipped up and uh, still leave some red, but we can take these edges down with the chips. So we move on to the next one down, 18 inches, and uh, you can see what it looks like when it's sliced open. We just took a little X and made it. And then it's a little we'll, sunny, so let me get the angle right here. Okay. There we go. And then we'll anchor this down. It's a little challenging to do this in the wind, let me tell you. Uh, but we shall manage. Mm -hmm. That's all we had for right now. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. If you guys are out there doing something similar, you've tried the red mulch, we'd love to hear about that. Um, and any planting techniques that you have. What about spacing? You know, if, if you're a fan of putting them two feet apart or even closer than 18 inches, let us know. We're, we're always interested in what you all are doing out there. That's how we learn and literally grow together. So this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Grow great gardens, folks. So